Hey folks, it's here and welcome to Let's Play Army Man 1, uh, the very first game. And right off the bat, that's not a good sign. I only see a black screen on the recording, so I guess uh, you're not able to see anything. So we'll just uh, boot up the game. So let's uh, start up a new game. All right, in the desert, weapon Sorry. run. You've broken through the eastern line. Head across the bridge into town. Proceed to the Tan Munitions Depot in Sector B2 and await further orders. HQ out. Okay, perfect. So now it seems like it's working fine. Great. That's exactly what I wanted. Alright, so uh, some of you may know this game probably from your childhood. Uh, this is a good old game. Army Man 1. It was released in 1998 by the Freeview Company. Uh, if you don't know who the hell they are, well, they're the same company behind the 3 Deal console. Which, if you don't know what it is, then uh, don't worry, mm. it's not really important. An it's a rifle. pretty minor piece of work. Uh, never got really any, any, uh, how you call it, any real uh, games or whatever. It's just, uh, oh, uh, the Philips CDI or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm blabbering about, so don't worry about me. Okay, so uh, basically, this is a game set. Uh, Good work, Sarge. Your new orders are coming through. HQ out. I guess I'm going too fast, but yeah, the game is set into a fictional world where a little green soldier, tan soldier, are fighting each other. Sarge, a blue spy is being escorted to the tan stronghold at Sector A2. He is carrying information we need. Use air recon to help track him, then intercept him and eliminate him. Retrieve any documents and return to the munitions depot and await further orders. HQ out. Okay, so as we're saying, uh. Come on, kill that guy. God damn it. Stop kidding. Oh, I got through the wall. What the hell? Then burn that bitch. Alright, so yeah, as I was saying, uh, this is a fictional world set uh, between a little blue, uh, a little green, a little tan, a little gray soldiers, toy soldiers fighting each other in a world war. Basically, we're set up free in the world. We don't really know what we're doing. We don't really know who we are. We're just there. We're just playing. And that's pretty cool. Uh, the only information we have right now is we had to raid some uh, munition depot for some odd reason, like stealing guns, and then being informed to catch up a blue spy and carry something we want to grab for unknown reasons, right? That's uh, the main piece of uh, important thing we have to know about the game because uh, the game will drip feed us everything we need to know afterward. Let's just burn that blue blue, uh, blue guy. Let's grab what it got. Blue Courier. The key to a newly discovered weapon is at the 10 base. Location will be given to you later. Okay, so we got a key. Actually, we just got information that there's a key somewhere, and now well, we need to go back to the munition depot. And uh, yeah, that, I did pretty bad there. I got an arm. Hmm. Okay, so uh, this game I remember getting it for Christmas a couple of years ago, probably back in '98 or '99. I uh, did play way too much, and what I remember is that. Uh, not a lot is going on actually. Uh, the game is pretty short, if I remember right. Uh, it's probably a little bit difficult. I did try to play it a little bit uh, before doing the recording. Outstanding job, Sarge. Outstanding job. Good work. HQ out. Yeah, as I said, I was trying to uh, work, now proceed to the record it a little bit, see uh, how it looks like. Oh, so we need, to, we need to grab a thing. Okay, so what I was saying, uh, this game keeps keeps and cutting me up. It's getting late, right? Yeah, the game keeps cutting me up, but what I was trying to say is I did play the game before and before recording. I actually uh, did uh, this first part, like the first two or three missions, I don't remember. And uh, I just remember that I had to press a button to start recording, so yeah. Yeah, not not exactly the brightest of the bunch, right? But hey, we're here now. Go on, gonna kill him. 
And uh, yeah, we're going to be freeing that little tank you just seen in the bottom. Gonna burn over that guy. You know, waste off the uh, flamethrower. Oh, we're gonna throw a grenade. Break the gate. Come on. Hey, stop kidding me, man. You gotta throw a grenade. Break the fence. No? Why don't you wanna break the fence? Yeah, this game's so weird sometimes. All right, so we're in the tank now. Perfect. All right. So the tank is pretty cool. It handles pretty well. Uh, get used to it because we're going to be driving a lot of tanks, a lot of cars, and it, I, I don't remember actually if there's anything else but a tank. I know we're driving a tank in the second mission. Uh, there's an off-track riding around the third mission that actually, when we'll get there, I'll tell you a funny story about it because it's like really stupid funny story. Oh, some guys that squished in. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Ah, come on. Yeah, the tank is a bit uh, finicky to move around, get stuck easily, turns way too fast. Look at that, man. What kind, what kind of tank are you driving, man? Ah, gonna turn the turret, gonna blow ourselves up like little noobs. Okay, let's just forget about that guy. Let's just get moving across a bridge to the Mesa Valley as we've been instructed to do by some random guys for some random reason on a random radio for I don't know and this game this game doesn't let you know what's up man gonna blow up that uh, little jeep and uh, right here there is something there's something that always get me every time let's see if we can uh, Oh yeah, got the little Bazooka guy there. Sweet little Bazooka guy, good night. And we finished the first mission. Job, Perfect, Please so let's get on to the second. Sarge, we're assigning you some help for the attack on the TAN base. Rendezvous with the squad at Sector A1. Mark them to our camp at Sector F1. Remain there until further orders. HQ out. Okay, so we're attacking a TAN base right now. Why? Good question. We don't know. Alright, so let's call in a recon. And I know exactly what they're going to do in right here. They're going to die. Yeah. So as you can see, I've played way too often this game. I know I need to destroy these things. Both of them. Come on, blow up. Yeah. And now we're pretty much set free to play the game. Uh, this mission is quite easy once you learn about they're striking both tanks and they're striking the guys going to kill your guys up north. And then uh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> he comments to the side. I don't know, he seen the grenade coming up and it was like, nah, nah, I'm not getting that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dying this way. He just shot himself in the head. That's just a theory though. Ah, uh, follow oh, me guys. Sting off it. Let's go. Okay, so now we got our mans and A1. We need to uh, barge them into your location, F1. So let's follow me mans. We'll go to F1. Where you'll be free to be free. Right? Right. Okay. Moving a bit north here. Ah, a little encampment there. I threw a grenade on that guy over there, just for good measures. And it didn't kill him, but I, I broke the tent with my gun. So yeah, plus one for realists. Army men want where you can break a tent with a gun. Okay, grenade that guy there, great. Oh, I love the grenade, I also love the mortar. And uh, we'll get one soon, you'll see it's really cool. It's like a grenade with some range. And we'll just move our guys over here in the encampment. And of course, we're getting a tank, right? What will be this game without a tank? And we'll grab the uh, automatic rifle. Perfect. The key to the secret weapon is being held at the Tan Fortress in Sector E5. Gather your remaining munitions, destroy the Tan Fortress, retrieve the key, and get it back to your camp at Sector F1. HQ out. Okay, so I need to go destroy. For some odd reasons, we don't know why, how, often, I don't know. But for some odd reasons, uh, we need to go 
into the fortress and uh, destroy the guys there. Destroy the uh, the fortress and steal the key. Wow, that was a bit hard to say. Ah, I got a guy there. Oh, got multiple guys there. I gotta shoot him. Gotta shoot that guy. Great. Gotta shoot him. Ah, yes. Uh, when you play this game too often, you know exactly where to go to make it easier on yourself. Ah, lovely. Gotta shoot that guy. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah, he just chills there, you know? The big shell just went past him and just, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna stay here. Don't mind me, right? Alright, now we got uh, to the hard part, right? And uh, we're getting shot at from uh, behind, right? Oh, multiple guys coming up behind. Just gotta squish them up. Oh, this is so satisfying. Uh, come on, keep running, dude. Don't run fast enough. Look how fast this thing turns. It's just insane. Okay, so let's uh, unload here. Let's grab our mortar. And let's start cleaning up that piece of uh, crap there. Alright, perfect. Let's get into the tank. Gotta be careful around. Oh, sh shoot. That guy is crazy. Let's just uh, run a bit farther. I'm gonna heal it. <laughs> I'm not sure what the hell just happened, but I lost my tank. Ah, uh, god damn it. Why are you so many guys just running at me? Okay, so we blew up that guy. Oh, what the hell? Oh god, what's going on? The game is so buggy. Oh, run, 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 run! <laughs> that was close. Okay, so let's grab that thing. That's the blue key. And uh, let's walk Sorry. back to the camp because I lost the tank. I think it's uh, one of the first time I lose the tank there. But I, I did that. Uh, I have to admit I was way too aggressive on that. I should have uh, chilled back. Just wait up and uh, bomb up with the uh, mortar. But no, I was crazy. I tried to rush in. Bomb them up. Kill them all. And that was not a good idea as you can see really not a good idea but don't worry we've still got an or key and we haven't died and we're back at the camp right now that's perfect mine and we got mine work, you have the key report back to HQ for further orders okay HQ out. perfect so it's been uh, like almost 15 minutes or well, pretty much less than that but anyway uh I think it'll be enough for the first part uh, I have to admit this game uh <laughs> the control are awful it's disgusting I had to remap up the control on the board I had to put WASD as the main control because otherwise it's using the numpads and it's not really intuitive I remember when I was young I actually used the numpad and it was like yeah yeah it's it's pretty normal feels 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 good right and then I got into army men 2 and army men 2 I think they got the things right because they used the WASD keys and I was like, no, I don't, I don't understand WASD. And that was back in 1999. Back in the day before I haven't played uh, any real FPS or any real game. Let's put it that, that way. I haven't really played any game, so I wasn't used to WASD. But now uh, that I'm used to WASD, I gotta admit, it's pretty hard to, to play a game properly. It's uh, a bit odd. Excessively odd. I don't think the text even shows up on the screen, it's probably just a frozen image. That's priceless. That's what you get for playing old games like I do, guys. So don't do it. Don't play old games like I do. Play new, recent, fun games. But hey, at least it still looks good, right? Even in 1080p. It's not bad. It's not bad. But, uh, you know, if you're interested in following up for more interesting plays of army man make sure to subscribe to not miss a single episode this is sj thank you for watching and until next time